music students take both performance courses, what we call applied music, and then also uh, the more academic courses, music history, music theory. So we have a variety of faculty, obviously, who specialize in each of these areas. That's partly why I love the Mount A music program. It's a, it's a general degree, so you get to touch a lot of different aspects of music, not just performance, but also uh, conducting and uh, musicology, theory as well. And so you can kind of go in not really knowing what you want to do. And once you experience those different facets, um, then it gives you a better idea. I love master classes so much. <laughs> it gives us the chance to have another perspective on our pieces, not only as doing solo piano, but as a collaborator. While the Bachelor of Music does not require a minor in another area, many of our students do decide to focus their non-music electives in a specific secondary area. It depends really what the student's career goals are. Um, people going on to uh, an education degree will often choose a minor and then use that as a secondary teachable area whether it's sciences or, or history, or we're looking for that rounded, overall, more uh, liberal arts type of, uh, of experience for our students. What's really great about this department is that we have a lot of performance opportunities because we're so small. Uh, so every week we have colloquiums where students get to perform here in Brenton, and it's a great experience. We have so many ensembles here. This year I'm involved in the symphonic band again for the fourth year, and it's my first time playing in the university orchestra. There's also a jazz ensemble, there's an opera workshop, and there's two choirs, and there's the choral society. Here we're really lucky that we do have that one-on-one, -on -one, uh, once a week at least for an hour, and they're even willing to give us more time, more help, more lessons. Our faculty are very active. For the most part, our um, performance faculty are performing concerts regularly throughout Canada. They're active in the recording studio. It's a very close-knit community, and uh, oftentimes, going on into music, it's a, it's a small musical community and uh, you make connections here that uh, would last a lifetime.